إلا في غرور أمن هذا الذي يرزقكم إن أمسك رزقه بل نجوا في عتو ونفور أفمن يمشي مكبا على وجهه أهدا أم من يمشي سبيا على صراط مستقيم قل هو الذي أنشأكم وجعل لكم السمع والأبصار والأفئدة قليلا ما تشكرون قل هو الذي ذرأكم في الأرض وإليه تحشرون ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين قل إنما العلم عند الله وإنما وقيل هذا الذي كنتم به تدعون قل رأيتم إن أهلكني الله ومن معي أو رحمنا فمن يجيه الكافرين من عذاب أليم قل هو الرحمن آمنا به وعليه توكلنا فستعلمون من هو في ضلال مبين فسيعلمون من هو في ضلال مبين قل حماؤكم غورا فمن ياتيكم بماء معين الله تعالى ربنا ورب العالمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفر أنا أحد الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفر أنا أحد الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلك من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النافذات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله 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 
سيدنا ونبينا محمد رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد 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 وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم صل يا رب وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وآل كل الأجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين على أشرف العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات على أفضل العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات على أكمل العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات صلوات الله تعالى وملائكته وأنبيائه ورسله وجميع خلقه على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل محمد عليه وعليهم السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته ورضي الله تبارك وتعالى عن ساداتنا أصحاب رسول الله أجمعين وعن التابعين بهم بإحسان وعن الأئمة المجتهدين الماضين وعن العلماء المتقين وعن الأولياء الصالحين وعن مشائخنا في الطريقة النقش بندية العلية قدس الله تعالى أرواحهم الزكية ونور الله تعالى أضرحتهم المباركة وأعاد الله تعالى علينا من بركاتهم وفيوضاتهم دائما والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة الفاتحة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دستور يا سيدي مدد أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وعلي أمري دينكم Today I think it's going to be a different صحبة that uh, Mawlana has asked to, this, to be mentioned uh, we are being honored to have our guide Sayyid Shaykh Muhammad Nazim al Haqqani Sultan al Awliya to guide us to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we are honored also that my brother is here <coughs> and Shaykh Abdan and many of you today you are showing a a united nation here, a rainbow of different persons and different personalities and different ranks of people coming together in a humble place to sit and, sit and listen. We have from the Far East 
from Indonesia, Malaysia, all the way to passing through Europe, subcontinent, passing through Europe, Arab countries, Chile, Argentina, and America, <coughs> and Canada. So it is meant like that in order to have uh, some advice that it is necessary for all of us. First of all, Maulana wants us also all to be one hand. As Allah said in Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhal nasu inna khalaknakum min zakari wa unsa wa jahannakum shu'uban wa qabaila li ta'arif. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaakum. O human being, we have made you nations and tried to know each other from different group around the world in order to know each other we are coming here the best among you is the best is the righteous one may Allah make all of us under Mawlana's guidance righteous and sincere and to forgive our sins Amen. seclusion is very difficult Shaham Matin we are from Chile seclusion to make a seclusion is not easy Seclusions that we did and Maulana ordered us, by his order we did seclusion, but it is easy. But there are seclusions not easy. One Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, he and Maulana Sheikh Nazim, may Allah give him long life, went into seclusion in one room. And Grand Sheikh closed all the windows and all the doors. It has one window and one door. So he closed the window completely with wood before he enters seclusion because he wants to disconnect himself completely from normal life. <coughs> and he said that no one did a seclusion with his student except me. And that was Maulana Sheikh Nazim doing it with Grand Sheikh. And he, we are not going to go into detail what he was telling us about what happened, but he said Grand Sheikh at that time was not eating even. All his food was he giving it to Maulana Sheikh Nazim. They used to have two times food, morning and evening, small lentil soup or bread and <coughs> olives, whatever it is, and it was lentil soup. And Maulana Sheikh Nazim was ordered to go to pray in Masjid al-Nabawi, the near Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and come back and keep in seclusion with Maulana Sheikh. He said, I never saw Maulana Sheikh Abdullah Qadda Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sleeping. <laughs> and when he was making dua, he feels that dua is shaking heavens and earth. <laughs> I don't want to say more because as much as you say more on the internet, you will have scholars because they are watching us. Every word we are seeing, saying, it is being watched and it's being, they are asking us through many different emails, through around different organizations. They make an, an organization, uh, uh, it's uh, Wahmi. Fake. Fake. And they begin to ask questions. Why you said this, why you said that, why you said that. You have to be very careful of picking the words. Uh, sometimes people, they representative, they don't know what they are saying. They begin to throw words that no one from scholars can digest it. And that's why they, they begin to attack. And a lot of that on, on the internet. A lot of discussions about are we real, we are not real. We, have, we answer them, they answer us. And we carry the responsibility of other representatives which have, we have nothing to do with what they say. They say things and who is in the picture, always they go to us, Naqshbandi.org uh, uh, in America or Sufi Life. Even the, the agencies around the world, when there is something happen, they come to us, as if we did it, as if we, we know about it. You have to tell them. This is how is our situation, that always we are under microscope. So that's why we are peaceful people, and we m moderate line, and we speak accordingly to what uh, be, uh, what we have learned from Sharia, Sharia and learned from Mawlana Sheikh, may Allah give him long life. Amen. I'm not going to be too long. I will stop here. 
and we will uh, from you Sheikh Abdul Mateen from Chile uh, Maulana wants everyone to hear in detail in details and you will translate okay. in detail from the minor his story <coughs> we have a, we are honored with a minor with it between us from Chile so he wants everyone to hear the detailed story of how much suffering they have suffered and how much how, how they, they didn't have food they didn't have water and they survived Allah survived them and it was a seclusion for the whole ummah that they did and he wants to hear what kind of miraculous power came to them and felt they felt it inside whatever he wants to say he has to say in detail so you come on the chair and he comes on the chair and give him one microphone Everyone understand English? Uh, Turkish? It's very honor to speak, he's saying. Thank you. Thank you. I have put the microphone like that. He's okay. He's okay. You, you're, you're. Yeah, when you speak, translate. I was explaining him. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, the experience of the two so was very, very tragic. Apart from the accident that we had, it was terrible. In the moment of getting out, he said that his experience uh, through the accident was very, very difficult and very terrible until the day they came out. In spite that they were 700 meters down and not knowing whether they will be out or not, uh, they mean, I mean, each other, the 33 miners, organized between them to to make be able to survive, and also they organized to be to pray in order to be taken out. Eh, y así lo fuimos eh, conociendo porque, bueno, había muchas personas que no nos conocíamos porque éramos de distinto turno, pero eh, al final lo, lo fuimos conociendo, lo fuimos, lo fuimos siendo como hermanos dentro de la mina y lo fuimos organizando de poco a poco por lo Many of them, they didn't know each other, of the 33, because they were from different shifts. So, the first time they started to know each other and to become brothers from each other. Can he begin from beginning how the crack happened and how it went down? Si puede empezar desde el principio cómo fue el estallido y cómo se cayó todo y cómo fue todo el detalle desde el comienzo. Nosotros en el momento de estar trabajando todos juntos y el cerro en temprano pegó un un estallido muy fuerte. They were all working together inside the mine, and all of a sudden the hill uh, make a very big explosion. Some. Entonces el, el cerro pegó ese estallido y, y al rato como dos personas a la hora y pegó el, se cayó el cerro y pegó un estallido fuerte que yo creo que llegó un viento casero nos voló la cabeza y ahí supimos que que algo iba a pasar. After one hour there was a second big huge expl explosion very very strong and they were underneath and they felt like a strong wind coming to them almost blowing their heads. 
y en ahí supimos, ya, eh, sacamos de Evapán, de, de salir de la mina, tratamos de intentar de salir, pero eh, llegamos hasta una cierta parte y ahí no pudimos salir porque vimos que la roca está gigante, no se podía. And after uh, this happened, they start to look for a way out. So they start to run around looking for an, an exit, but there was a huge, enormous uh, rock blocking the way. So they knew that they couldn't get out. Y bueno, nosotros en el momento vimos que el, el rock era, era muy grande, intentamos salir por chimenea, pero era imposible porque estaba todo tapado, estaba ciego. There was an, another possibility to get out, who was like a, a tube of a, a chimney, chimney, like for exit. But they tried to go through this tube, but the, the, it was also blocked. Y vimos que ya no, no había ni una solución. Bueno, intentamos tres días de hacer lo mismo, pero de los tres días vimos que ya no había ni una solución. Y bueno, lo, lo, lo juntamos todo, lo unimos, conversamos, hicimos las cosas como, como eran. Tratamos de apoyar a los, los niños más jóvenes que había y empezamos a unirlo de poco. So after three days trying to look for a way out, they went everywhere trying to find an exit. But after three days they realized that it was impossible to get out of the mine. So, so they meet together and they, to, they say we are trapped, there's no way we can get out of this place. So they start to organize and especially they support the youngsters that were among them to bring them uh, support so they feel that they were contained. Bueno, eh, de ahí ya pues, nos conversamos con ese, ese, ese tema, de que la, ya no había solución, había que rezar y esperar que hiciera un milagro para que lo encontraran, y, y alimento y algo. Entonces había que compartirlo como hermano, como persona, había que comer lo justo y necesario. After they realized that they were not going to be out, they start to pray in order to be rescued, and they have very little food and they are organized like brothers from between each other to eat very little, each the same amount, very little. <laughs> the food they have it was uh, enough for three days for the 33. They have three days storage of food. So they realized that they have to eat uh, as, as little as possible and also to share as much as possible in order to make it last as much as they could. He said after days were passing, passing, and then they realized that the food was going down, so instead of eating every day, they eat every two or every three days. And in between, they, was, they were only drinking water. They said that luckily they have a big tank of water just above them and underneath the hill when it, the, the, the blockage. It was industrial water that was uh, with oxide, oxide uh, like brown water. It was a big tank that they used to drill. This water was the only source of water they have, but they said we have to drink this, otherwise we will not be able to make it. So they were drinking that water every day in order to be with... Um, to, to, as, and some days they only have that water and no food. Pero gracias a Dios que el agua no hizo nada, a pesar de, de todo lo que tenía, fue como un milagro que no nos enfermamos nada, nada. Lo único más que de ahí empezamos ya a, a, a conversar y a unir, ¿no? y a rezar todos los días, los 12 días rezamos. Ahí ya no había... They, they drink this water and they realize that it was a miracle because they didn't get sick. They were drinking and was feeling like the water was uh, fresh and clean for them. And they were praying, even though they have different religions, every day they pray with one religion only. No, no differences between them because they were Catholic, Evangelist and different. And they all pray the 33 as 
there exists only one religion. Y ahí tuvimos que esperar los, los días que lo, lo quedaban nomás para que, como los seis días empezó a sonar las máquinas y que lo estaban buscando. Ahí en ese momento todos lloramos, gritamos y dijimos que ya había una curiosidad de, de seguir viviendo. They, after six days, they were inside the mine. They started to listen to the drills of the equipment that was trying to find them. So when they, they listened to this sound, they were all cry and pray saying maybe there is a hope that a miracle can take us out. And after the 17th day, the, the drill broke in, into the, where the place they were, and they all were crying and happy to be able to tell their families first that they were alive. So the first part for them was uh, finished, the first that time uh, period, because they were unconnected for 17 days after they broke the, the drill went into, uh, they were able to tell their families we are alive. And now the second part of the story is to how they will get out. There is something missing there. How they were able to breathe. Y nosotros en el momento de que quedamos, gracias a Dios que nunca faltó la respiración. Nosotros, como muchas personas, eh, como minero viejo, bueno, yo soy, me, me he criado las minas, siempre tenemos esa de prender un, un, un sendeor y ver si la llama dobla es porque se hay aire. Y si la llama se apaga, es, es poco el aire que hay, poco, poco día de vida. They said that some of them, they were all, grew up in mines. He, he's, since he was a child, he was working in mines. And in order, they have a trick when, in order to be able to know whether they have enough air or not, they, with a lighter, they switch the lighter on. And if the flame is moving, it means that there's air coming. But if the flame uh, turns off, it means that there's enough, enough air to breathe and the possible will be dying in soon because there's no oxygen. Y así lo fueron, fueron pasando los días hasta que ya cuando llegó el momento feliz fue cuando me encontraron. Y ahí ya supimos, empezaron a mandar mensajes y ahí ya tuvimos, respiramos otra, otra vida y esperamos hasta que soportar lo que había para poder eh, esperar el momento de los rescatar. Y gracias a Dios salió todo bien. He's saying that after they, they, they put this tube for the first drill, they weren't able to send messages to their families up and the families sent the messages down and they, they keep the hope in order to, to wait until the time that the, they will make the bigger uh, tube in order to then to take out. So they were, on this second part, they were very uh, happy to, to and hopeful to, to wait for that moment. lo del viento cuando tú rezabas, cuéntale, lo del viento que tú sentías cuando ustedes rezaban, Ah, sí, cuando nosotros, bueno, en nosotros en Chulamina vemos 33 y cuando rezamos todos los días al mediodía, eh, ya no vemos 33, vemos 34. Hablaba nuestro Señor porque cuando nosotros rezamos... They said every day at noon they will gather for, for praying. <coughs> and as soon as they start meeting at noon every day, they feel that they were not anymore 33. They, they were 34. And each time they were praying, there was a bl wind blow uh, embracing them around and telling them that there was hope and that they would uh, go out. And there was fresh air, fresh air coming on their backs.
And that moment of the day was giving them the strength and the hope and the faith that they were going to meet their families again. Ese fue el hombre, lo más terrible de los tuvimos fuerza y voluntad y, y esperanza y fe que, que la gente que lo apoyó todo el mundo, el resto por todo y nosotros solo siempre nos estar agradecidos, lo que vamos a morir y no nos cansamos de agradecer a todo el mundo por lo que hicimos. They said that they, 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 through that experience they, they were having strength, hope and strong will that they will be uh, knowing that they will be rescued. But they also <coughs> feel and they were feeling and knowing that the whole world was uh, united praying for them. And that was giving them more and more uh, strength and that's something that gratefulness that they have through lo all those prayers they will keep it until they they live this this life they have very strong gratitude on their hearts for the prayers of the whole uh, world uh, praying for their sake <laughs> Mi dicho ha dicho que él lo considera como un hijo de él. Nosotros estamos los 33, bueno, en el nombre del 33 estamos muy agradecidos y queremos darle las gracias por todo que nunca lo ha abandonado. Especially he wants to uh, thank Maulana Sheikh because he's the only one since the beginning that was supporting them and helping helping them. And he is saying on behalf of the 33, giving the thanks to thank you, gratitude to Maulana Sheikh because they feel he says that they are like their children and he think, they think that they feel like their children to him. So they have a strong uh, gratitude because he has always been with them until today and from the beginning. <laughs> He has forgiveness because when he reminds all this, uh, he feels very uh, st uh, emotional and not stressed. So what he, what he, uh, at first moment when the explosion happened and they, they found themselves trapped inside, what first thing came to his mind? Pregunta que cuando apenas ocurrió la explosión y se produjo el derrumbe, ¿qué fue lo primero que se te vino a la mente? Un momento se me vino a la mente empezar en mi familia porque yo, bueno, nosotros sabíamos que también era muy peligroso. Y primero pensé en mis hijos y mis nietos que eran los regalones y, y que Dios me diera fuerza para estar con ellos, sino que, que tú eras tranquilo porque yo, si no estaba con ellos, era porque luchaba por ellos. He said that uh, he knew that the mind was dangerous because it was a very insecure mind. So as long as, soon as the hill collapse, he started uh, thinking on his children and grandchildren and he is also was praying to God, to Allah to, to protect them and to if he, and he, if it was his will to take him out to do that, if not, he was certain that he would take care of them because he was working to take care of his, of his family. He was sacrificing by his job. Uh, for sake of, of his family. <coughs> so he was asking that friend. Any question? Any someone? De la mariposa? Ese de, ese, bueno, ese de mi compañero, Frank Lo con Galleguillo, dice que yo cuando venía bajando, dice que no sé si era una mariposa o una, mari una mariposa, una paloma blanca que pasó por el techo de cuando cayó a hacer plancho porque ellos venían bajando. Y el andarían bajando, pero ese Dios que el plancho no lo pidió. Dice que ellos pasaron, y cuando pasaron, dice que pasó como unos hechos. Una mariposa, una paloma, pero no se He asked him about a butterfly, because there was a story of a butterfly. There were two of other miners that were driving a, a truck, a pickup truck, and they were coming into the mine, through the road. And they were driving, and then they, they saw, they didn't know it was a big butterfly or a white dove, that went with them. Uh, uh, with them through went through the roof 
on, and they keep going and they were able to go in and just miss the just miss the the, the, the collapse, the collapse. Mm -hmm. just for very little they drove through if they were stopping with the sound and not moving they will be dead but through that miracle happening they were able to just but barely little distance miss the the collapse of the mountain we didn't hear about uh, the food when they were eating they were eating one spoon a day he didn't explain that what kind of food they had and how they were distributing it yes he said that the food was, as he said before, was uh, if he w they would eat like a normal meal, like uh, enough to be stuffed, it would be for one day. It was not like a box of food, not too much. They, they you, uh, at the beginning they will eat two uh, crackers like the square ones with uh, two they will first eat two crackers, only nothing else, two crackers for a day. And then after they will switch to one uh, like cuchara of chicken. The, the, the spoon was the little spoon of one a spoon of tuna fish. Only one, but the little spoon, not the big one, the coffee. One a day. Dos. Dos. And beginning two spoons for each. Three. 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 Two spoons of fish. And then. Everything they split very even. First they will eat one cookie that was a uh, cookie with the cream inside. So first one and then they split in two, one for each, one half for each and then the spoons of tuna and then they have one can of uh, peaches. peaches and they will cut the four half uh, the whole four pieces and 33 exact the same one for each very even at the end they have three days without any food just that water the water, that industrial water, was keeping them alive. He didn't mention about uh, when they got the uh, fresh water. What happened to their water? Eh, we heard that they, all of them, they did have diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> they all of them, they did have diarrhea. No, 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 fue con una leche. Ah, una leche en taco. <laughs> they sent uh, one can of milk from the NASA, and when they had that, everyone was sick. No dreams in this. Teni tu eras sueño? Es dormimos bastante. Eh, dormimos bien cuando escuchamos el soldado. Se paraba el soldado y no dormimos nada y pensamos. When, when they were able to listen to the drilling, they could sleep, barely sleep. Which day they began the drilling? ¿Qué día empezaron con el? They can't begin to hear. Six days. After the sixth day, after six days, they begin to drill, and when they listen, they were able to rest a little bit. But when they stopped, they started to. Think, thinking maybe they give up and they will like, leave in, and then when they sit here again they were able to sleep up like, like this. So they, they, they went into a miracle of 
the six coming to the seven days, to seven, number seven. And 17, when they yes. reach them, find them, they were 70 days, they stay down, they stay 700 days, uh, uh, meters. Uh, see, meter, 700 oh. meters. So all it's number seven. Dice que el, el milagro está a través del número 7, porque ustedes empezaron a, a taladrear el sexto al, pasando al séptimo día. Después tuvieron 17 días eh, sin conexión a 700 metros y estuvieron 70 días encerrados en la mina. Todo vinculado al número 7, es un milagro. Un milagro, sí. ¿Y el 33? Donde 33 es el 33, ¿cuál es? Cuando lo encontramos con el día, fue, eh, bueno. Cuando nos quedamos hoy ese día, fueron 33 personas de Cristo. They said that they, when they were trapped, they were 33 um, uh, miners, the same age as Isa de Isa. Se mandaron 33 días para terminar el rescate del hoy. They took 33 days to finish the. Since they started drilling until the end, 33 days to make the, 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 the tube, the bigger tube from. From the rescue. Cuando empezaron a rescatar fue el día 10, el día 13, del 2, no, el día 13 del 10. Y 2010. They were, when they started to take, get, get out, they were on the 13th of the 10th of 2010, and it sounds 33. 33. Uh, uh, how did they know it was Maulana Sheikh Nazim that was falsely? Mm. Yes. Okay. Sheikh Maulana lo estaba apoyando desde que estaban en la mina. ¿Cómo supieron? De cuando llegó esto yo estaba listo. Lo tengo de cuando llegó el número de cama. He said that when they received the tawis. Uh, he, he received it and he put it on and never take him out. And then when they received this, they knew the support from Mahon and Ash. How did they receive the Tawish? Yeah. How did they receive the Tawish? Por la paloma. Por la paloma llegó y empezaron a decir que el mandan maldana y llegaron unos papelitos que uno diciendo y ya lo dijo que esto era de la calle de Chipre, que estaban apoyando y ya había que ponerse, así que era una protección para él. Uh, they were inside, and after they have this tube, and they sent through that tube, they called them the doves because there was these packages where people put letters, uh, even the food was coming all from that those doves. And one day they received one dove with 33 envelopes with one tawis with a letter saying that Maulana from Cyprus was supporting them and to pray la ilaha illallah and to put this and they will be able to come out safe. So when they received that they knew that he he has he Maulana Sheikh is sending them his support. Maybe they could have the Sheikh Abdul Din could elaborate on how he was given the Dawis and get the get the lady get the lady you yeah the lady and everything the head of the minor group. Yes it was very uh, also miraculous because we were when we started to uh, speak one uh, in Ramadan we were eating dinner and we said what can we send to the miners uh, like with the family of some brothers in order to to <coughs> to help them so when the children were saying one picture from Elena and then one book and then the next day I have a phone call from Kamaluddin in from here, saying, Mona is telling them, tell these people to recite Elayla Hilala, Muhammadun Rasulullah, and they will be able to come out safe. So we received this and we start uh, to uh, think how we will get inside the mine. So we prepare some everything the we picture, one book, uh, envelopes, everything, and we send it to one brother, Abdul Rauf, who lives very near. Uh, where the mine is, <coughs> so we send it by some brothers also went from here. One of them is here. He, 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 they went with him and they tried to go into the mine with this, but the government and everyone was saying no. Only family can go, nobody else, and they put very difficulties. We keep trying, 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 and they came back and saying we couldn't go. 
So we decided, okay, let's make the same email list that the, we used to when we have an event or something very big number. We send an email saying anyone who knows uh, someone who has a relative who is inside the mine, please uh, contact us because we have something to tell them. Because when I'm saying, if I'm in between, I was receiving calls saying, did you tell them from Maulana? And calls, like one or two times saying, hurry up. And I was, we were all desperate. So there was one sister called Habiba who was recently become Muslim. And she was uh, the, the daughter of the sister of one of the minors. So very like second uh, cousin of, of the of the daughter of the minor, second degree cousin. They were uh, a cousin, a nephew, a niece. N uh, yes, and she gave us the number of the daughter of Omar, who was here uh, before, and we called. I mean, this brother Abdul Rauf called her, and they met, and they okay, don't pr no problem. I will make sure that this is going down. So she went by herself took all these uh, packets and they sent for them through that tube the whole everything including Maulana's message and the tawis and the picture and the, and the book and everything. You mentioned that there were 33 and then when they break it becomes 34. What was the description of the 34 part? It says that when you were praying, doing the oration, uh, y estaba los 33, usted decía que ya no, no había más 33, sino que había los 34. Sí. ¿Y cómo sería tu descripción del minero número 34? Bueno, era el minero 34, nosotros siempre bueno, acercó, nos probamos que era el nuestro señor que lo está protegiendo. En el momento que estábamos, porque le rezamos, le rezamos mucho, mucho. Y por eso le decía recién cuando me puse a llorar, porque me, me llega. Y era algo muy lindo que lo sentimos nosotros, era un así como un, un alivio cuando terminamos de rezar. Yo podía dormir tranquilo, podía pensar en mis hijos y en mis nietos, y como que me da ánimo, y en el siglo luchando. He said that when they were praying, they feel the presence, and they, they, they were saying that the minor number 34 was uh, our Lord that was uh, being present on that meeting of the, of the prayer. So they feel whenever they were in this time of the day praying, that he was, his presence was among them and after they feel this very strongly on, on uh, that's why he, he it's difficult for him to speak because each time he remembers his heart is uh, moving and full with this uh, and uh, after they feel this presence every day they were able to rest and to have hope and to keep going on this uh, very difficult uh, situation they were that was their uh, support that make them to be able to go through. Prophet said, Ana Jalisu man dakarani. Allah says in the holy hadith, I am with the one who mentioned me. I am sitting with the one who is mentioning me. So whenever they do the prayer, that presence appears to them, which is Allah's presence. Dice que hay un dicho que es la palabra de Dios expresada por el profeta del Santo Profeta Muhammad sobre el Islam. Dice que el profeta decía y hablaba decía a través de él que cada vez que me mencionan a mí, mi presencia, la presencia del Señor se hace presente. Y eso es lo que usted sentimos. Y todo, todo. Con nuestro compañero cuando conversamos decía sentiste el alivio. Dice que thinks that every one of the 33 feel the same because they comment after they you feel this uh, relief because they were all the pressure was gone after this presence coming. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How was their reaction when they received the things? <coughs> ¿Cuál fue tu reac la reacción de ustedes cuando recibo las cosas de Maulana? Eh, yo creo que sentimos algo hermoso porque sentimos que no, no estamos solos. Estamos mucha gente y mucha gente religiosa nos está apoyando. Y sentimos, nos sentimos feliz de que no estamos abandonados, que la gente está pendiente de los dos. Y eso es lo más grande que tenemos, por eso decía que estamos cansados de terminar de dar las gracias a todos. Y nos podemos dar uno por uno, no dejar a nadie fuera. 
She said that uh, when they received this, they were very, very. It was a very beautiful moment, and was very. They were very, very happy because they had the feeling that they were not alone. Mm -hmm. That there was uh, from even he saying that from all other religions as well, they were supporting him, and <coughs> they have not enough time to thank everyone who was supporting. But they feel very happy when they receive, and thinking that someone for such uh, far away was with him, with them. That was... Can you ask how he felt when he saw the picture of the And when you saw the photo of the Maulana, what did you feel? Orgullo. We sent him a photo of him that he was supporting him, and I was feeling orgullo. And I still have it. I have it in my heart, in my house, in my house, and I always give the grace, and I always say that I would meet him. And now I'm happy to be here, and I've known him two times. He is very uh, proud of having the picture of Maulana. He has it on a frame in his house every day. He goes and thank him and saying one day I will be able to meet him. And he is so thankful that this day was, he saw him two times when he was coming out and when he was coming out. Okay, so he's the uh, uh, highest wish was accomplished yesterday. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Let 
تَقُولُوا لِمَن يُقْتَلُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ
شاء الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم صل على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلاة تنجنا بها من جميع الأهوال والآفات وتقضي لنا بها جميع الحاجات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وترفعنا بها عندك أعلى الدرجات وتبلغنا بها أقصى الغايات من جميع الخيرات في الحياة وبعد الممات اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقل وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا وآتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف الميعاد اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم أحسن عاقبتنا في الأمور كلها وأجرنا من خزي الدنيا وعذاب الآخرة اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا كريم اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في الدين والدنيا والآخرة اللهم استرنا بسترك الجميل اللهم استرنا بسترك الجميل اللهم استرنا بسترك الجميل اللهم استرنا روعاتنا وآمن روعاتنا وقت حاجاتنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم احفظنا من بين أيدينا ومن خلفنا وعن إيماننا وعن شمائلنا ومن فوقنا ونعوذ بعظمتك أن نغتال من تحتنا برحمة يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنا نسلك العافية في ديننا ودنيانا وأهلنا وأموالنا وأولادنا وأعراضنا وأرواحنا وأبداننا وأوطاننا حسن الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير أفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير اللهم إنا نسلك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه عبدك وحبيبك ورسولك سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذك منه عبدك وحبيبك ونبيك سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله سبحان ربنا رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين وآل كل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالم الفاتحة Alhamdulillah, we thank them very much, Sheikh Abdul Mateen and uh, the minor, what's his name? Esteban. Esteban. Uh, Esteban, put your hand, my hand, say, Ashalu and Na, Ashalu and An, Na, Na, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah. إلا الله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله إلا 
الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين يبايعونك إنما يبايعون الله يرد الله فوق عيدين فمن نكث فإنما ينكث على نفسه ومن أوفى بما عهد عليهم الله سيأتي أجرا عظيما رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا وابن القرآن كتابا والله على ما نقول وكيل وقبلنا بسيد الشيخ محمد ناظم الحقان شيخا ومرشدا الله موسیقی وزید سلطان الاولیاء سید شیخ محمد ناظم الحقانی وعلى نیت القبول الفاتحة ان شاء الله from مولانا's giving him name محمد سلیم محمد سلیم استیوان سلیم استیوان سلیم استیوان سلیم Muhammad Salim Like Omar Salim The other one Omar, this one Salim Salim is peaceful and Salim means safe to complete health Thank you very much, Allah bless you and thank you very much for coming and Sheikh Abdul Latin's uh, barakah you brought, it's an honor for all of us here. And Maulana is thanking all the, all the Chile and Argentinian, they are here. May Allah bless them all. Amen. We'll see you later. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam.
الله صلى الله عليه وصحبه الكرام وحيا بين أمهاتنا حضرة أستاذنا وسيادة أستاذنا وصدقنا الفاتح قبل الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you.